everybody welcome back to my channel it's Melissa Vanity here uh, today I'm coming at you with a skincare I regret buying video now um, I wasn't really big on skincare in the past I tried to get into it a little bit more uh, after I worked at Sephora I was working in skincare at Sephora so because of that I got uh, really familiar with a lot of uh, high-end brands and a lot more familiar with what my skin type needed. I have a oilier uh, skin type, but uh, mostly in the summer especially it gets very oily, but in the winter it tends to dry out a little to become more of a combination. So uh, I got a lot better acquainted with what kind of needs my skin in particular had. So I tried to kind of venture out. Like I tried some uh, actual high-end products and I also tried some regular drugstore products and uh, I'm just going to show you some of the ones that I did not find personally worked at all that I didn't like at all. So, the first product that we're going to get into here is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Purifying Facial Cleanser. So this is what it looks like. I actually had gotten it on sale. Uh, I think it was like two dollars or something and I had always heard a lot of really good things about Clean and Clear and how, um, especially the Morning Burst, the orange one I heard was like amazing and they didn't have the orange one, they only had the regular one. So I said, why not, I'll give it a chance. And honestly, I think as you can see, I used it maybe... <laughs> we have a little meowing guest. So as you can see, basically I only used like, I think I used this maybe for about a week until I just decided that it wasn't making any difference in my skin at all. It wasn't really doing anything for my skin, it wasn't really cleansing it, it wasn't really doing anything. So I was like, forget it, there's no, there's no reason for me to stick with a cleanser that isn't really purifying or isn't really um, doing anything for my skin when I could find other ones that have much more potent ingredients. Which actually brings me to my next one. And this is a product from L'Oreal. Now L'Oreal, I find that sometimes they're really hit and miss with their products, but in general, I tend to like them. Uh, this is the Go360 Clean. It actually came with a little brush, a little brush thing I kept because that I actually used. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell because of the way the light is hitting it, but I can tell you the product. I think you can see it a little there. You'll see that the product is like somewhere about here, almost halfway through, because I really, really, really wanted to like this product so badly. I don't really have acne prone skin. I was really lucky with that growing up. Acne was not an issue for me. So this, for example, has uh, salicylic acid in it. and. Salicylic acid really does help, especially since I'm oilier. It tends to dry out my skin and kind of balance everything out. Now, like I said, I really, really wanted to love this product, but it just, it was not potent enough. I think the first couple times I used it, I was like, wow, this is amazing. It's super great because it had started actually drying out my skin a little. But once it kind of hit that plateau after the third time I used it or something, it really stopped making any difference at all. So this product for me just didn't work. I think again that there are other products on the market that contain more salicylic acid for the price. Like it, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this. I know it must have been under 20 bucks for sure. Uh, but I'm sure that there are products that you can actually find around the same price point that will contain more potent volumes of salicylic acid than this product. So. The next product that I have over here is a product that, again, I really wanted to work so badly and I used as much of this as I could, but it just wasn't working. Now for me, I have really bad dark circles. I'll try to zoom in a little so you can see. I actually, hold on, I'll take off my glasses even so you can see that I've got really bad under eye circles. I am actually someone who does suffer from a chronic illness, which one of the side effects, unfortunately, is chronic fatigue. So I do also have that issue where I'm never really fully rested, so I have really bad dark circles. Uh, I've been looking everywhere for a type of product that would work and help lighten up the circles a little. I have yet to find anything that really impresses me, but 
I tried this product. It was the Vichy Pro Even line. Now this, I know this particular product, if I'm not mistaken, has been discontinued. I'm not surprised. But it's honestly, I tried so hard to like it. I remember it being somewhere in between $40 and $50 for the, for the um, product. And the lady assured me that this was the best thing she had ever seen, of course. But I used it for months and it just didn't it didn't work it just didn't work so if anybody has any suggestions of really good products that will take care of under eye circles please let me know and i'd be more than happy to try and review them because i'm just i kind of got to the point where i gave up and i just go with it uh the next product is another vichy product it's the uh pureté thermale the cleansing foam basically like you pump it it's a liquid and you pump it and it pumps out into a foam but really it didn't do anything for my skin it's supposed to be a, a brightening cleanser that is very good for sensitive skin and my skin's not particularly sensitive but it is very finicky so it heats at almost everything doesn't necessarily get irritated just heats at almost everything i put on it but this really didn't it just didn't do anything. Uh, the next product is actually a CC cream. It's a drugstore brand, Marcel. Uh, the CC cream is one of those creams that basically matches your skin tone as soon as you pump it out. So I'll actually show you, because it is really cool. It's white in the actual container, and then as soon as you pump it out, it pumps out and will quickly turn to match your skin or at least it used to. Never mind. Well, <laughs> there you go. At least I can show you one reason why I don't like this. I, I try to use it a lot because it has a SPF and I don't normally put on sunscreen. I don't really burn, but because I don't put on sunscreen, I like to try to find sometimes light moisturizing products, especially for summer. Uh, but this, it just, it dries sticky. It doesn't really set. There's a lot of transfer with it. It doesn't really moisturize. It kind of just feels heavy. It doesn't really smell nice. It like it smells like your typical makeup mixed with SPF and it just doesn't smell good. It was just not a good product. I think I used it a handful of times and then it sat there gathering dust in my medicine cabinet for I don't even know how long because I never reached for it again. There's other products that are much better like for example uh, this Stila Illuminating Balm, that's one of my favorite products ever. I'm not sure if it has SPF in it or not, but I loved that product. I really did. So moving on, uh, the I, this is actually an Avon product. Now, Avon, again, I know that a lot of people don't like Avon products, but I, I represented them for a long, long time. And I have to say they have hits and misses. It really just depends on the product itself. So I... I saw this, I had seen a lot of people going off about this, especially around me, about how great this product is and everything. It's the liquid extraction strip. So basically it goes on in kind of like a heavy gel formula. It sets and then you're supposed to peel it off. Now the problem is, is that it doesn't really peel off. It kind of just gets gloopy. So you're kind of trying to peel off some areas that have set and some areas that haven't and then trying to wash it off is gross because it's like this sticky gel consistency that doesn't really move easily so it's just it wasn't a good feeling it wasn't a good type of product again i think i used this maybe two or three times and never reached for it again if you're looking for a pore extraction mask or whatever i would recommend going with like uh basha's black mask that one's amazing uh there's actual just pore strips something like that don't waste your time with something like uh, this kind of gel product it just it doesn't work uh, the next product is uh, from fruits and passion it's their apple hand cream now i really like the smell of apples so i thought i would really like this but it didn't moisturize anything now not that i particularly have dry hands 
but in the winter they can get a little bit rough around the knuckles and around the fingers especially. Uh, so I like to carry around a hand cream, but I've seen other hand creams easily outperform this one. I know the Bath & Body Works makes a lot of great hand creams that easily surpass this and they're not expensive either. So the last product is actually not a product that I purchased, it's a product that I just had a sample of, but I wanted to mention it because it's something that I'm really not crazy about. Now, as I mentioned, while I was working at Sephora, I was really trying to look for things that would help me with my oily skin. And it came down finally to between Murad and Ole Henriksen. And honestly, Murad was the loser for me. Uh, the oil control mattifier, I'm not even sure if this product still exists or not, I think it does, I'm not sure. But either way, this did not work for me at all. And I don't know if it's because there's an SPF in it, I don't know if it's because there's just something in it, but if anything, it actually made me oilier. So I know that a lot of times it'll be recommended that people with oily skin try to combat the oil with oil, but for me, that has never worked. It has never, never worked. And I'm very wary of moisturizers because a lot of the times they will just make me even oilier. They won't balance out anything. It'll just make it worse. So I try to stay away from a lot of moisturizers. Um, Ulla Henriksen was the winner for me. The Vitamin Plus is actually really great. But I will actually make a separate video with my favorite uh, moisturizers for oily skin, my favorite types of cleansers, etc. I just wanted to talk about these products that did not work for me and I just wanted to share my opinion with you guys. So if you have any, um, if you have anything you want to say, any comments, any questions, please let me know down below. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that they're horrible products, I'm not saying that the brand's terrible. If they work for you, that's great, they just didn't work for me personally and I wanted to kind of explain why. That's all in like provide different recommendations and other options. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like and subscribe for more videos coming up soon. And I wish you a wonderful day. Mwah.